How about a light, Captain? Thanks. Now show me what you got worked out. Yes, sir. For security reasons, we decided to use a civilian transport. No sense advertising. Secondary roads here, and here, and here, will be used as much as possible. We'll monitor the progress of the transport until it reaches its destination. Any mistakes in the operation would be critical. Once again, we have a secondary road here and down along this side here. Isn't this just a little extreme? I mean all this, just to transport a bunch of dogs. Rottweilers, sir. The breed supposedly dates back to the time of Christ. That's a curious remark. If I'm to believe Fletcher's report on the destructive capability of these creatures... You can believe it, sir. Sir, I demand and know where my report has been ignored. This is not the time or place for this discussion. I realize that, sir, but I won't be put off anymore. Sir, you've got the authority to stop this thing. That's true, Mr. Fletcher. Then listen to me, please. This project was mine. I sold the military on the idea, and no one ever wanted it to succeed any more than me. But, Colonel, it's just too dangerous to continue. Nonsense, Mr. Fletcher. But you are correct in one sense. It was your project, and now it's completely in our control. Look, Adam, is it? I can understand your reluctance to let go. After all, you've devoted many years to this program. And believe me, we all appreciate all you've done for this project. But you've exceeded your own expectations. This device that controls these animals through surgical implants was brilliant. Your skill has provided us with another invaluable weapon. Weapon? Not a weapon, Colonel. A weapon you can control. But these creatures you can't control.
How you doing, George? Fine, Hank. How you doing? Sheriff's office. Just a minute. I'll see if he's here. Are you here? Who is it? Wilson James. <laughs> no, I'm not here. Sorry, Wilson. Could I take a message? Hmm. You said your loan was past due, and it... And knowing Wilson, as we all do, he suggests I perform an impossible physical feat on myself, right? Play dogs for money? No. Well, I think I'll go on patrol. HQ to Hank Willis. Go ahead, headquarters. The mayor needs a lift, Hank. He's at the Pines. 10-4, headquarters. Freddie Davenport. Davenport. Pleasure to meet you. Freddie here is going to build a big new hotel in town. Now, wait a minute, Mike. I said I had to think about building a hotel in town. I've known this guy since we were kids, and he was just as pushy back then. Yeah, thanks a lot, right? Um, you know, Hank, we better get going, probably. Listen, a little bit of golf later this week? Fine, sounds like a great idea. Okay. Oh, and remember, don't eat the whitefish. You know what it does to your stomach every time. The whitefish and golf don't mix. See you later. Best got them. Why don't you build ten hotels here? I didn't think he's broke, now spend the summer to Pines. It's 72 degrees here at Lake Moore. Don't forget now, mud wrestling tonight at the Underground. We want to see all of you there. Are you sure this will be enough to make a good bonfire? If it isn't, we can always toss you on the pile for extra measure. <laughs> I've known you for two summers now, Ben Willis. And you're still a wise ass. You're not a wise ass, he's a dumb ass. Oh, stuff it, Tad. You know, if you did have any brains, you'd con Stacy into inviting us up to the Pines for an afternoon of polo and watercress sandwiches. Hey, how about it, Stacy? Not a chance. One look at you guys and they'd toss me out on my ass. Uh. Thanks a lot, man. Oh, and don't let the riffraff burn the town down, okay? It knocks the hell out of the real estate values. Hi, hon. Hi, yourself. Hello, father. Good afternoon, Miss Willis. It isn't necessary for you to call me Miss Willis' father. Miss Stanhope says only those outside the immediate family should call me Miss Willis. I'll be waiting in the car, Mother. Catherine definitely takes <laughs> after your side of the family. Well, I like that. Starting a new painting? Uh-huh. Something for auction at the Church Bazaar in September. Can we really afford that? We can't, but this goes on the church's tab. See you tonight. Oh, Hank, great news. Got a new girlfriend, huh? Don't I wish. No, I just got the word. I've been granted financial aid for my final year of law school. Great, Wade. Congratulations. Thanks. Ooh, I need this money, too. I better get my butt on a lake patrol. Don't wreck the boat. No, sir. Hey, how you doing? Fine. Good food, huh? Everything's fine, Betty. Well, eat fast. We need the table. Hey, Hal she ain't gonna never look good as me to doing that. You tell him, Hank. What the hell is this? Pick on Denny Nichols' day? 
First my wife, because I happen to like garlic on my pizza, and now you. How about a beer? No, I believe I have a Coke. On the house? Do you want a Coke? Well, Kim, how's the newlyweds? Well, it's been six whole months, and we're still together. Any Kim just told me she wanted to get a divorce. <laughs> Man, can't, sweetheart. Nobody quits my gang, she. <laughs> Denny. Look at that blush. <laughs> Talk to you later, hey. Bye. Luckiest day of my life when I met her. Tell me something. How long does that uh, blushing thing last with girls around here? Kim's been doing that ever since I remember, Denny. <laughs> Tell well, me. Go over and play uh, that over there. Not a chance. Take it easy, Tad. Okay. Come sit with us when you're finished, okay? Come on, Stacy. Let's go sit with this creep. You just never let up, do you? Hi, Wick. Get much these days, Wink? Give him a break, Ben. Don't pay attention to garbage mouth here. Ben, why do you always do that? Look at him. You always do that to him. Afternoon, eh? Hello, Owen. How you doing? Sure thought I was gonna have to give you an official call this morning. My fishing boat was almost stolen. Really? Two of them humongous catfish from the foot of the dam tried to make off with it. More trouble at the dam, Denny. The catfish again? Tried to steal my boat. One was inside a rowing, the other was outside a pushing. <laughs> Come on, boy, we gotta get back to that power station. <laughs> I think I'll leave on that one, too. <laughs> oh, hiya, Ben. You just missed your dad. I didn't miss him. How about a couple beers? Hey, a bunch of us were talking about a bash on the beach one night this week. How long would it take you to get a couple kegs of beer? Mm, a couple of days. Your dad says okay. I, I mean, using the beach. I didn't ask him. I told Mina she could leave early today. Oh, don't tell me that. Her boyfriend's going away for a few weeks. She wanted to spend some time with him. Oh, damn. She's my friend. Besides, I feel sorry for her. Sorry for her? That little broth is tough as brass knucks. As a matter of fact, she could have been a part of my old street gang. Danny. This ain't one of them damn flatland self-service places, Hank. We'll be before long, Carl. I keep pouring in here or something like this. You know, there ought to be a law against them tourists coming in here like that. <laughs> Carl, I think Doc would probably agree with you. But you have to remember, if they didn't come down here all summer, you couldn't hunt all winter. Oh, bullshit. You know, Doc keeps telling me he's going fishing with me. But every time we get to start, some dumb ass either falls down a mountain or has a baby. Talk him into it. Do him good to relax. I'm gonna go tonight as soon as I get off from work. And I got an extra rod in the truck in case he can get off. I'm gonna take him with me. Say, why are you up on the mountain if you run into one of more boys making shine? How about bringing back a jug, would you? Carl, if I run those Russian boys, I'm heading the other way. Well, did you call you folks about the good news? Sure did. Boy, were they excited, especially my old man. He said, son, my bank account is eternally grateful. 
Well, I guess this will be your last time with us, huh, Wade? Yeah, I guess it will. Well, that is if I can pass a bar exam and get into a good law firm. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. I think you're going to do all right. Thanks. Well, guess I better get out there. There's a season for love, you know. Those horny bastards will be all over the back cove. What do you want to know for? Miss Stanhope says we should write to our pen pal at least one each month. Why don't she give you words you know how to spell? She says we should always strive to enlarge our vocab vocabulary. Oh, really? I think I'll take leave on this note. Okay. P-R-O-M-O-T-I-O-N. And don't tell your pen pal that you got a promotion, because you haven't. Who's your pen pal, anyway? Ben, I thought you were going to haul away those broken skis. The door was shut, Mother. When the door is shut, that means I want privacy. It means you're supposed to knock and not come barging in. Just what in the hell's your problem? Oh, great. Just great. Hey! Where in the hell you think you're going? It's okay, Hank. Ben was right. I should have knocked first. Knocked hell? Man, this is your house, not his. That's it, girls. Give me happiness. Let's show me some teeth. Happiness, good times, huh? <laughs> That's it. Enjoy the hell out of this lovely vacation spot, will you? Forget about the mosquitoes and the bugs. Don't think that there might be snakes with gaping mouths waiting to devour your lovely little bodies. Oh, Mason, did you have to say that? Why couldn't we do this during the day, Mason? Because, sweetheart, I want to get my shots and get the hell back to civilization. Shoot away, Mason. I love it. I'm charging double rate for this. Don't think about the money, girls. It makes your beady little eyes squint, and that ruins my beautiful pictures. All right, take a break, huh? I gotta reload. Be back in a minute, Mason. Okay. Who assigned you, Mason? Tom McIntyre. Part of his big series on America's favorite vacation spots.
for. Yeah, Hank Willis. Yeah, Hank, look, I'm sorry to bother you at home. Oh, that's okay, George. I was going on patrol anyway. Mud wrestling to underground at night, you know. Yeah, it gets pretty wild sometimes. Look, Hank, the reason I called is we had a tractor trailer pile up up on road 295 tonight. There was a fire and the driver was killed and no ID. Did you get a mic on the rig yet? No, we having trouble running it down. Anyway, the state patrol's in charge. Just thought you ought to know. Thanks, George. Hank, please look for Ben while you're out. It's not like him to run out like that. Oh, Madge, don't worry. He'll come home when he gets cooled off a little. Four seventy-four, Greta. Thanks. You get a chance, Romina. We need a band tonight. Thank you, babe. Hurry back. That's all. here, along with my eardrum, and direct your attention to these two lovely ladies here, meet Angie and Amber, our first two contestants in the mud wrestling contest. Son, I'm not going to hit you. The hell, I'm not. Glad you could get off work, Mina. Yeah, me too. I try to miss mud wrestling whenever I can. Good night. Bye, Chuck.
Did you never show up, Madge? No, Hank. it out, friend, and you ain't never seen it dark like it'd be then. Yeah, it must be a hell of a responsibility. Well, you don't know the half of it. And I'm responsible for the whole shooting match. Oh, me and my boy, that is. Hell, Wink, he knows just about as much about it as I do, don't you, Wink? Hey, now there's a spot. That's the spot I was telling you about them big catfish come up. These catfish in there as big as Dolly Parton's last hit. I seriously doubt it. It looks like sewer water to me. Oh, no, no. That catfish in there, I know that that long. I've seen him as long as my leg. You won't let me on what happened? How the hell would I know? I didn't see it happen. You've got the degree. You want to give me an educated guess? Something with very sharp teeth. How about mountain cats? Carl's blasted hell out of lots of them. Yeah. I suppose a mountain cat would have to be pretty hungry to attack people. But this girl wasn't killed for food. Well, what in the hell does that leave us with? A knife-wielding maniac? Yeah, with real sharp teeth. Doc fellas. Yeah. Hold on, huh? I'll send tissue samples up to the pathology lab at the State University. Maybe those bright boys can find some answers to some of your questions. Yes, Mrs. Richards. I'm here. Well, you'll get no sympathy from me. I specifically told you, absolute rest for at least two weeks. Captain, just what the hell's going on? I'm waiting for some answers now. Yes? What? Keep on top of it. We've lost the transport. How can that be? The driver must have taken the wrong route. Idiotic incompetent. Captain, I suggest you find out what's going on. I strongly suggest you do that. I keep thinking of Fletcher and remembering the way he begged us to abandon this project. Well, what if he is correct? Captain, get me a search party into the field and you do it as quickly and as quietly as possible. But you find me that transport. I still say it's a stupid idea. Stupid or not, you promised, Denny. I tried phoning Mina all last night. I'm worried about her. 
Hell, where I come from, if a waitress doesn't show up at work, you hire another waitress. You promised. Sorry about this, Mina. Mina? Mina? Denny Nichols? Sick of something? I gotta check with the dispatch a minute. Just hang on here. Well, what kind of animals are we talking about, Doc? Are you guys sure it was an animal that did this? What kind? I don't know. Damn. How in the hell am I gonna break this to Kim? Don't. Well, she's the reason I'm up here. She was worried about Mina. Gotta tell her something. Then make up a lie. 
It's better if nobody knows about this. At least until we know what the hell we can do about it. Here you go, buddy. Two whole dollars and change. You know I can remember when I couldn't spend $28 for gas in three months. Yep. Yeah, me too. Now you come back to see us now, you hear? Sure you wouldn't like a little cream and sugar with that? No. Taking it black these days. That's a step in the right direction. <laughs> I sure never seen anything like it. Me either. You, uh, you didn't tell Kim, did you? Mm. No. no. Doc, you sure it was animals that did that to me? Well, you're damn right it was an animal. And I'll know what kind of animal. The lab geniuses get off their dead asses and do my tissue workups. When will that be? Well, sometimes it takes them three or four days. I guess we're small potatoes to those boys downtown. Has anybody checked this patient for rabies? Well, now, wait a minute. Rabies, you've got to get the animal's head first. Well, I guess you have to. Well, yeah. i got to right. go. I'll see right. you. Can I help you? What? Uh, hard of hearing, huh? No, I don't have a hearing problem. I just, uh... And anyway, Doc ain't a hearing specialist. He's a general practitioner. Colds, broke bones. <laughs> Doc's your man. But if you've got a hearing problem, you got to go see a, a specialist. Hello? Oh, hello, Ruby. And anyway, Doc ain't here. Ruby, hang on. I'll go answer the phone in the other room. Well, Ruby, you know, I mean, it's just about as bad as a thing can get. I mean, the man has, you know, it's the worst thing he can possibly have. I don't want to name it, but you know how it is. I mean, he's got maybe months of agony in front of him. I mean, it just couldn't possibly be worse, could it? Mrs. Ford. 
Barb. Sorry, don't make it right. I got a schedule to keep. I told you that when you asked me to come help you out. Um, yeah, I know. Now, messages are all over there on the table. Uh. I'll see you Friday morning, 8 o'clock, sharp. Hank Willis. Mr. Fletcher? How do you do, sir? Adam here says he knows what kind of animals killed Mina and the other girl you found. Really? Mm-hmm. Says it was dogs. <laughs> dogs. And he doesn't mean a pack of wild dogs. Rottweilers. They were trained to kill. I trained them for the military. I'm a scientist, animal behavior. Congress allocated funds for the project. It was my job to breed, develop, train the dogs to a point of such sufficiency that they could literally replace an entire platoon of men, well, in certain situations, jungle recon, border patrol, scouting expeditions. Then it happened. One of the dogs developed a malevolent presence. Seemed evil. Yeah, I know, I know. It's impossible, but it happened. I tried to explain what this was leading to, but the military brass just wouldn't listen. They went ahead with the project, beyond all limits. What was it leading to? A loss of the human affection response, which means the animals actually began to hate human beings. The military decided to use the animals anyway. They shipped them off to Fort Bragg, but there was an accident. The dogs escaped. I sent an army search party in the wrong direction. What the hell did you do that for? Well, I had to. I had to see this thing through without their interference for once. Right now, there's no doubt in my mind at all. They're here. Up there. Somewhere up in those mountains. Capa Blanca holiday. Dancing on the beach and it's okay. It's all right to dance on the beach all night. Hey, it's all right. Why, hell yeah, count me in. Adam says those dogs are blacker than your soul, Carl. Might be a little hard to spot them in the dark. Well, now, you know, I don't give a damn how mean them bastards are. You let me put a couple of these in them, and they're gonna have a Chinese name. One gone. <laughs> <laughs> Think we ought to take Wade along, too? Hank, I said you think we ought to take Wade along, too. No, I think it'd be best if you stayed here. Carl, you better bring along your arsenal. Come get your supper, Wink. It's gonna get cold. Give me this. You're gonna ruin your eyes reading these things.
Okay, the joke's over. Surprise. Hey, Reverend. You remember Carl Dunnigan? Sure. How are you, Carl? How are you doing? Doc Fellows from last year. Doc? Hi. I'd like to meet Adam Fletcher here, too. Adam, how are you? Huh. I don't know what we did, but I can assure you, fellas, we don't need all this firepower. Is that all you can tell me? I'm afraid so. Can it be so serious that you'd ask us to break camp and leave? You better believe it, Reverend. Well, this will certainly work a hardship on us. I realize that. The lodge could put most of you up. Besides, it'll only be for a couple of days. They don't want to take these damn dogs alive, Fletcher. Well? Reverend, you better get him out of here. Hey, everybody, everybody listen, please. Now, now listen. Sheriff Willis has asked that we all pack up our gear and move down into town as quickly as possible. So as fast as we can, let's break camp in an organized manner. All right, let's go. Come on.
Adam Fletcher's missing. Yeah, I think the son of a bitch run out on us. Maybe, but the Reverend has three people missing. I guess this fellow was one of them. So? Adam must be with the others. Let's go take a look, Carl. William, wait. It's all right. It's all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. It's going to be okay. Here. This will help a little. You know, you shouldn't have run from back there. We're going to be all right. Shh, shh. For God's sake, don't make a sound. Move up the stairs. Why don't we lock ourselves inside? Why? You okay, Fletcher? Yeah, sure. But the dogs, the dogs responded to this signal. They didn't even try to attack us. Hey, they reached the trees before I could get a shot at them. What about the campers? Well, they're upstairs. But didn't you hear what I said? The dogs responded to the signal. Don't you know what that means? The dogs responded to this. No, no, not the weapon. To this signal. To the training that I gave them. the cheek, no scars, no problem. Well, he, he won't have any scars at all, right? No, 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 he'll be fine. Thank God you found them. That was a very brave thing you did, Mr. Fletcher. Well, I don't, uh, I don't think they were in any real danger. No danger? Doc, I think you better check that guy for brain damage. Uh, I'll see you to my people. 
Need any help here, Doc? No, uh, the rescue squad boys have done a very good job. Tied up all the loose ends. Well, we'll see you back in town, then, okay? Fine. That old boys are hitting on all day. Come on, I'll get you a cup of coffee. Okay. You know, boys, I've only bored these mountains all my life, but I ain't never seen nothing like this. Damn. I can't believe it. Well, I can believe it. I was there. I seen it. How about me going with you tomorrow? Denny, I'd appreciate if you would. I'm gonna need all the help on that mountain I can get. Well, boys, I got to go get some sleep. Carl, got an next rival? Yeah, I got one uh, back at the station. I'll pick it up on the way home, and I'll see you boys in the morning. Good night. Nice man. Sometimes I wonder if I'm cut out for this job. Yeah? I'm supposed to be ready to protect the people of my jurisdiction, right? Yeah, so? Well, ever since this thing started, all I've been worried about is my family and wishing they were somewhere away from here and safe. Well, for what it's worth, the only people I worry about are Kim and myself. Hell, you damn good at your job, Hank. I've only been around here for a year, what I know, right? But I've been around here long enough to know the winners and losers here. You are not cut out for this work. Bullshit. Now, I'm not cut out for it. You, you do your job Quietly, with compassion. Me, I'm, I'm too excitable. I'd be breaking heads left and right. It's a good thing you came in the other night when you did and broke up that mud wrestling fight. Because I, I was starting to get mad and I might have hurt one of those guys. Yeah. Yeah. You're okay, Hank. For a cop. What can I say? When I was nine, I swore that all cops were my natural enemies. Salute. Denny, have you seen Ben tonight? Yeah, earlier he's at that blowout at the lake shore. You guys still having problems? Well, uh, I've uh, been there myself, Hank. That's all. Denny, we fight. Hell, just right down to it. I don't know what we're fighting about. Yeah, people fight. 
It's human nature. Yeah, it's also human nature to work out your problems. Bye, Kim. Bye, Hank. You're about ready to close up. I want to know what's wrong. Wrong? I, I told you, babe. I don't believe wrong. you. It's just that something I've been is going on, and it all started with Mina suddenly leaving town. Danny, she did leave town. You told me that she left town. Come on, babe. Couldn't we talk about this later? You're hiding something from me. You and Hank, and everybody else. I'm your wife, Danny. We're not supposed to have secrets from each other. We'll talk about it later after we close up. Okay? Come on, Carl. Madge, are you okay? It's okay. I'll be home soon. Is the party still going on at the lake? Yeah, but I'm going over there right now to break it up. Madge, now listen to me. I want you to lock all the doors and windows. Get the shotguns down and load them. Don't go outside. You understand? What in God's name is going on, Hank? I'll explain later. Just do as I say, okay? I promise. Hank, you take very good care of yourself. You promise? I promise. I'll see you when I get home, okay? Son, let's take a walk. Bounce on land. Try to settle down. Get our tender feet on the ground. Raise our to evolve our There's a German yodel my neighbor said. I speak to be gone. Take a girl home. All right, Emma. 
mind. Listen up. Get the hell out of here and get home. scary. I never heard of anything like that happening around here. You know, I sure am glad Mina left before all this happened. Yeah. I'd be scared to death for her, living up there in that out-of-the-way place she lives. Hey, what about pizza? I could slip one in the oven. I don't know. There's something about frozen pizza that just doesn't appeal to my ethnic sensibilities. <laughs> Move back. S slow. Ah! <laughs> 
Hank? Boy, I'm starting to worry. What's wrong with Kim? Where's Denny? Help me get her inside. Listen, Ben and Stacy told us all about Wade. They said the poor bastard got all ripped up. Freddie, give me a hand here. Here. Hank, why don't you give Doc Fellows a call? He isn't back from the church campground yet. We'll take care of everything. Don't worry. Come along? It's okay, Wink. Probably nothing I can't handle by myself anyway. Tell you what, find some candles, make the whole place look cheery while I take a look around outside. folks, there's nothing at all for you to be concerned about, okay? They're working on the power, and I'm sure they're going to have it back on real soon, so just don't worry about it. Ben, how about getting a flashlight of the blazer? Sure, Dad. There are some of those old-fashioned oil lamps in the storage room. Good, but I think everybody should stay put till we get the power back on. There are guests scattered all over this house, Sheriff. There are people upstairs in the recreation room. Those poor dears in the recreation room must be frantic by now. Look, we'll get to them as soon as we can. Now listen, we're going to have this situation right as rain in no time, so don't worry about it. You take the flashlight and lantern and check the upstairs. I'll take the wreck here and check it out. Okay, Dad. Ben, watch it, son. Yeah. I 
I need to talk to you. We'll do it on the way. I want you to help me save those dogs. I figured you had that in mind. But you do realize how important further study of those animals could be, don't you? Right now, it's on my mind is protecting the people of this community. Sure, sure. But you will help me salvage those dogs, won't you? Whenever possible, I intend to blast the hell out of those dogs. I can know this kind of thing only happens once on Blue Moon, Freddy. I, I hope you're not going to hold it against us. I don't worry about it. It happens all the time back home. Does it really? <laughs> You know, listen, we can sit around here telling ghost stories all night, but instead of that, why don't we take a run up to the dam? See what Owen Sellers is up to up there. Sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, let's do it. All right? All right. Oh, by the way, you folks just sit tight, okay? We're going to take a run up to see how the repairs on the power station are going. Be back. See you later. I've been thinking about that property you showed yeah? me. Yeah? Not bad, but uh, for what I had in mind, it may not be large enough. Hey, now listen, that's no problem. See, I own the property on both sides of that lot. Hey, that's great. <laughs> Just stay close. Just get back. Let's get out of here. Hurry, come on. Let's go. Hurry, hurry. Up here! It's been out for 30 minutes. Okay, just calm down. Everything's all right. Watch your glass. Come on, come on. Yeah. 
Okay, come on, come on. Take it easy now. Slide right down. Take it easy. It's okay. He'll catch you. Slide down. Take it easy. There you go. Okay. Add a girl. Okay, okay. Let's take it easy. Everything's going to be all right. He'll catch you. Come on, everybody. <coughs> this is the only way out. Careful. There you go. Take it easy. Uh, watch yourself. Watch yourself. Okay, okay. Okay, whoops, okay, there you go. 